everyone's, I had to figure out what I was going to do. Now I knew my goals of what the end game was, but now I had to figure out how to get there. And so people said, do what you love, right? And I was like, well, crap, I like shopping and I love shoes. I don't know how to make money off of that stuff. Bubble baths, right? So that wasn't going to help me. Other thing people said is, well, do something you believe in. I'm a firm believer that when you do something you believe in, you'll work a lot harder, right? If you have like a purpose or a mission, especially in the culture we're raised, it tends to make you be more passionate about what you're doing and put yourself out there more and really go after it. So I think it's really important. If you can find something that you love it, that's great. If you can make money doing what you love, I just happen to love shoes. So that really wasn't for me going to work. But something you believe in is another really, really good way to, to be successful, okay? The most important thing is to just do something. So I had a grandpa who's passed on now who was like my hero in life. That's him. He's so cute. Um, he's like the cutest grandpa. But he, we talked one time when I was younger and I said, you know, I don't know what to do. And he said, Amy, I'm going to share an experience with you. He said, early in my life, I was trying to figure out a decision for my family. And I got on my knees and I started praying. And I prayed and prayed that I just tell me what to do, tell me what to do. And the answer that I got, clear as day, was get up, do something, do anything, just make a start. And he said it was like the biggest life lesson for him, and it stayed with me my whole life. Get up, do something, do anything. Just make a start. The point was we spend so much time talking about it, stressing about it, waiting for God to give us an answer on what the right thing to do is, and we don't just get up and move forward, right? We become frozen in, I mean, especially see in dating all the time, right? Oh, I don't know if I should marry, whatever. You just got to figure out what you think is right, say a little prayer that if it's not right, someone's going to stop you, and then go forward. And that's the way you got to do it, is get up, do something, just do anything. And so then you got to find your opportunity, right? And so for me, I was like, okay, how do I figure this out? Well, you have to think a little bit different. If you listen to people talk and get them out of their environment and talk about life problems or, or things that they wish could, this could happen or I wish this was easier, those are opportunities. You're going to find your best ideas from listening to other people. you got to pay attention to when there's discontent about things. So in my case, I worked in medical offices, okay? I'd been in medical since I was in high school. And in medical offices, I hated filing because it's boring. And I have ADD, and I was like, dude, seriously. You know, pull the file out. Well, so they would come in with their insurance card. The patient had an insurance card. And I'd have to photocopy. They'd go get the file, photocopy the insurance card, put it in the record set. Then I had to go back to the file and put it away. It seemed like such a repetitive, dumb task to me. And I thought, why computers are now coming out, like, you know, <laughs> Back then, what is it, Commodore 64s? You know, we had this old, I'm old, but whatever. So I, I thought, why can't we just scan these, right? Like, why can't you scan it and then it could just be in the computer and we don't have to go get the chart out every time? And that was how my first idea was born, was from looking at something that I thought was annoying and that there should be an easier solution for, okay? Um, the size of market matters. The bigger the market that you're going to address, the better. Why? Who knows why? Anyone? Why do I want a really big market to sell to? Because then I only have to have a teeny little piece of it to be successful. If I'm going to sell to a market of people that have a very specific problem, and my market size is only 100,000 people, I've got to get every one of those people to make any money, and then I'm capped out. But if I have a market of millions of people, I only need a few hundred thousand to be successful. So when you guys are trying to figure out what you're going to do with your business, be sure to pay attention to how big is the market, because I guarantee the investors are paying attention. Okay? Focus on the impact it's going to have, not just what you're going to sell, but how's it going to improve somebody's life or make it easier or better. Because that's really the focus that's going to help you get successful. And then leverage your God-given talents. Figure out what you're good at naturally. Ask your friends. If you don't know, ask your parents. They always know. Right? We don't always want to hear it, but they know. So leverage those. I was ADD, and I understood technology. So I used my ADD and found things that were boring that I thought were repetitive, and I used technology to solve them. There you go. So one of my favorite questions is, what would I do if I wasn't afraid? Okay? Whenever I have a problem to solve, I ask that question. If I gave you guys... 10 million bucks right now, and I said, I don't need any of my money back. I'm going to give you $10 million. You can start any business you want, and if it fails, I don't care. What would you start? That's probably the right company for you to do. Okay? What would I do if I wasn't afraid? Get all the crap out of your head and just and focus on that. So I founded a company in 96 with two little kids. My daughter was just a few months old in a 10 by 10 room in my house. And I was scared out of my wits, but you know what? I figured, that's okay, I can be scared, I'm just not going to let it stop me. So I went forward, and I had just me, and it was a medical software company, and that's what kind of began my entrepreneurial journey that went on for the next 16 plus years. I'm not going to say how many exactly, because I know how old I am. 